in a tiny little country nobody even knew existed called Rwanda. <laughs> By the time 100 days was over, a million people had been slaughtered. One million in 100 days. In fact, I, I got stories later on. These people would, would get so tired of killing people, they would rest for like eight hours, wake up, and the people are still sitting here waiting to be slaughtered because they couldn't go anywhere. It was so numbing. I'll get back to one in a moment. So that was what was happening in 1994, first story. The second one, a little earlier, in Somalia, Operation, I don't know what the U.S. called it, I keep forgetting, Operation Restore Hope, that's what they called it. Operation Restore Hope, and the U.S. brought in troops, they landed in the beaches of Mogadishu, they brought in foodstuffs, and the Somalis were nuts. They didn't want to be ruled, they never wanted to be ruled. And the Americans were trying to instill their rule, and then they gave, sent out a bounty to capture and kill Farah ID. Do you remember that story? And then in the streets of Mogadishu, they